Part of President Joe Biden's COVID response plan today announced suggests reopening schools safely. But can that be done successfully? Medical reporter Liz Bonas shares why many pediatricians think so and why published research is supporting them. Hey there, everybody. Getting kids back to in-person learning is critical for a number of reasons. The American Academy of Pediatrics has supported this for some time, not just for academics, but for a child's physical and emotional health. They absolutely need to go to school. Pediatrician Joe Bailey says, well, he is sensitive to the concerns of both teachers and parents. Let the teachers get the vaccine and I will happily send my kids back into the building. My fear is that I will be personally responsible for killing the child. The impact of keeping kids away from other kids is showing up in a number of places. Emergency room visits are, are definitely up for emotional and behavioral changes um, and, and, and related visits related to emotional and behavioral health. So we're seeing that across the country. A state level data report from the American Academy of Pediatrics says he's right. It says severe illness due to COVID-19 in children is rare. It backs up a previous study from the AAP of 100,000 students and staff in North Carolina that found after nine weeks of in-person learning, secondary transmission of COVID-19 infections also extremely rare. It's very important, important that they are out there socializing with their friends. That's where, they, that's where they learn to be adults. That's where they learn to have a conversation. That's where they learn um, to be accepted or not. So all that stuff's important. Dr. Bailey says this is true for young children right up to those entering college. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. We'll throw it back to you.